Hey guys, and welcome into part three of the Let's Play Starsky and Hutch series. So, in this episode, it's very, very short, and also very, very action-packed. Now, there are a lot of explosions in this episode, uh, and different things I trigger off, which is really cool, looks amazing, but it's only five minutes. I, I, when I was playing this, I thought, oh god, am I going to be able to um, do it in time? It, for some reason, while playing this level, it felt like ages. Well, not, it didn't feel like boring ages, but it felt like ages. So it's, it's a slightly shorter episode this week, but uh, I'll be doing obviously uh, I may do one tomorrow uh, if it's going to be this length every episode it, because it's quite a daunting task when you're trying to make these let's play series. If you make let's play series, then you know what I mean. Uh, they, they, there's a lot of work that goes into them. Uh, but yes, yeah, so here we go. Let, uh, Starscream Hutch Let's Play Episode Three. Um, I am still enjoying the game. Uh, I like the fact that you can go to the menu system, click on season one, and then pick the episode, and you will play that episode. There's no driving to the places or certain saves or anything else. It's just finish it, go on to the next one, which I love, and it saves automatically and everything else. But I, I love this series, and it's a perfect game for a Let's Play series. Um, so, uh, as most people who watch my vlog know, I bought Fallout 3. No, not Fallout 3. Fallout New Vegas yesterday. Awesome game. I run, I, I'm running on my PC. And my PC can run it. Uh, although it is on low, dip, on low, um, low graphics. Uh, and because basically when you when you first load up the game, it installs it to your computer, which is 10 gigabytes, which is quite a lot. I had to get rid of um, Alpha Prime for it to fit. Uh, but um, I ha I, the. The, the system basically it, it checks your computer and says okay these are the settings it will be on so that's awesome uh, and it did a, it did it all for me it goes you're on low setting so fair enough I have tried put it into um, high to see what would happen and the and the game actually crashed on me so I was like, oh, okay fine uh, so I'm keeping it on low but it runs as smoothly as it would on 360 yeah the textures look a bit off they look a bit blurred and, and stuff like stuff kind of fades in and fades out in the distance but it's not game hindering at all and I can play it fine. I'll be doing hopefully some videos on it soon and hopefully we're doing a review which will probably, apart from my Bionic, Bionic Commando, will, will be my, my my main first review, gaming review. Uh, so I've got some stuff planned for that and that's going to be hopefully happening in the next week or so, I hope. So keep your eyes on my, keep keep your eyes on my, uh, on my video channel for that. Um, so yeah, in this gameplay, uh, you see this this car is escaping, and I I kind of mess up actually a few sec in a few seconds. There's a gate, and you'll see. Although there there is a kind of a there's a story coming out of this, I think, because in a few seconds you will actually see some people start firing at you, and, you, and they're like, who, who who are they? So I'm thinking maybe there's like a like a gang that that's going to try and take you out every mission. So there's a story in here somewhere. Well, there's not really a story to the game. It's just shoot this guy and chase him. Um, so here we go. Uh, so yeah, um, I, there was quite a lot of explosions and stuff in this one. I, I did it. I did it actually. I really enjoyed this level. It was probably like it's probably my favourite one, especially that. I mean, come on, you can't get any better than that. Um, although I don't know why they came down and went back up because. I thought I was going to have to smash it through him, but obviously not. And here is the bit where I completely fail. Yeah, I go straight into the fence. So, <laughs> not great. Um, so yeah, guys, this week's question for you. What console did you buy Fallout New Vegas on? And if so, whatever console, was it good and was it what you expected? Uh, for me, Fallout New Vegas uh, is... Is as good as Fallout 3, and I love Fallout 3. I play, I put loads of hours into Fallout 3. Not exactly into the story, but I put loads of hours into just free roaming and then leveling up. Uh, I put, I put, kind of ashamedly, I put eight hours into it yesterday, um, which to some people may sound not like a lot, but for me it's quite a lot. So um, yeah, eight, eight, eight hours yesterday. Uh, so that was mainly me finding like different places I, I think is like yeah I have on PC so I have the ability to um, kind of not cheat but use codes to give me certain stuff like I have God mode which is awesome uh, and I also have all markers now on the map so I can actually see uh, where everything is and I can fast travel there which is great uh, 
I wouldn't call that cheating, but yes. So, anyway, I'll be doing hopefully a review on that. Gotta love that explosion, that is awesome. Thank you for watching my Let's Play series, and go check out my channel. Um, and please, please subscribe and comment. So, what did you think of Fallout New Vegas? That's my question to you. Comment below. I'll be back hopefully in the next couple of days with part four. But until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.